The table of ultimate gaming, or I think it's better be called the ultimate gaming table. G'day everyone, my name is Alex and welcome to Garage Gamers Down Under. And my name is Mitchell. I'm about to introduce you. I've introduced myself. <laughs> I rolled a six. <laughs> I got initiative. Okay, so welcome to our channel guys, and here I have my trusty offside uh, Mitchell. Uh, G'day Mitch, how are you doing? Good. <laughs> Good to see this you. This is take eight. <laughs> yes, we've been going through a few takes here. Uh, so in this video guys, what we want to do is give you a review of the table of Ultimate Gaming. Now, just a bit of history for you, this was a Kickstarter. So we purchased this table some time ago. What was it? 17, I think. 2017, 2016, and probably it was about a year and a half before we actually received As it. usual, Kickstarter takes forever. Yeah, yeah, it certainly does. Kickstarter does take a long, long time. Um, going back on our history, we started Tabletop Gaming uh, in 1990, 1991, I think, yeah. when I met Mitch at university. The first time I actually played on a tabletop was at Mitchell's place. Yeah, uh, I think you invited me over. Uh, we played on your dining table, I think it on was. On my dining table, which I think was a five foot by three foot table, playing a six foot by four foot game, <laughs> making alterations as usual. And then in Australia, off you go to Bunnings and you upgrade and you get yourself a six foot by four foot board and you've got muscles to move it around and put it on top of a, another table. And for the last couple of years, we've been playing on my trusty gum tree table mm -hmm. on a trestle. Bunny's trestle table with a board from I got on Gumtree for twenty dollars. There you go, guys. And for a long time, our dream has been to actually get a wonderful gaming table. And obviously, with the um, internet and uh, Google Images out there, we've been drooling over some of the tables that we've actually seen out there and nudging each other and saying, "Oh man, how wonderful it would be to actually have one, one like that." And then all of a sudden. I think it was you that sent me an email that showed me a link uh, to the um, Kickstarter for this table and we, we thought, hmm, this could be it. This is the one we should get. Look, we live in Australia. We do. The arse end of the world for everything. <laughs> we don't have the option to go to different places to get tables made, etc. So this was a bit of a risk. It was way out there, much higher than all the other budgets that we, you know, a lot of brownie points. A lot of brownie points. Yeah. I do have a partner. <laughs> I still have one as well. And she stayed on. A lot of. Oh, she's still with me. Like, <laughs> anyway, that's a different story. That's a different story. That's and different. a lot of brownie points. So this was my present to myself for being a very good boy for my whole life. And as all you guys know and girls, sometimes you've got to spend something on yourself. Mm. Besides crack mm. plastic. <laughs> It's yes, let's be something to play on. And this is this is it. Yeah. This is it. And we've only had one 40k game. That we did. We did. And you'll probably see that here in one of our videos. It's part of uh, my uh, 40k ITC noob diary. So you'll see that uh, video. You can see us playing on that table. Um, so going back to the Kickstarter, which will, uh, from memory, with regards to our price, uh, what was it? It was around thirteen hundred dollars Australian that it cost us, uh, including no. delivery, or was it a bit more than that? No, thirteen hundred, and then we got slugged with the freight after you clicked That's everything, right. That's after right. you agreed to buy it. <laughs> yes. Then they said, yeah. "Oh, by the way, the freight will be." What difference does it make? I'm already trapped. Yeah, and I kind of recall, I think after some comments were made or some postings were made about uh, delivery, delivery being capped, it was only going to be about $99 right. or something like that. I think that. it was close to $250. It became it was like $250. This was, yeah. ended up, I think this ended up being almost $1,600 Australian dollars delivered. And that for what to, I got, but I haven't got everything yet, and that will come later on. And that comes to the point uh, with us, uh, as Mitchell mentioned, us being on the arse end of the world, so we have to actually pay uh, a little bit of a premium for things like that with regards to delivery. Um, and that's the other thing about Kickstarter. You pay for something a long time ago and you forget actually how much you, you've paid. Um, but lo and behold, we received our table. 
I've actually got one as well. Um, it's still in its box uh, because I'm still like that on my gaming room to be finished. It's probably not going to be constructed and done until about to, uh, to mid-2019 now. So let's forget about that one. But we've got Mitchell's table here that we're actually going to do a, a, a review, review on and have a chat about uh, uh, as well. Um, so with regards to delivery, Mitchell, um, what experiences did we have about that? It came well, it came packed. It, it, the delivery came well to my work site. No problems putting it into the car, so it'll be there. Um, the problems was with delivery was the packaging. It came in six boxes. Yeah. Plus, I've got we'll talk about that later. <laughs> um, but there is no relationship between the box number and what's in the box and what you need to take out of which box to use. So you think you'd open up box one, and box one is everything you need to begin with, and that's not how it works. Mm. You open up box one, and the first part you get out is in box two. And then you've got to make sure when you do this, it's like IKEA furniture, don't mix the bolts, <laughs> don't mix the, the numbers, be patient, we survived together, we put it together. We did, and, and on that note, I have to say that you do need two individuals to put this table together. Um, one note is that we actually purchased, or Mitchell purchased, and my purchase as well, we purchased the 6x4. Yes. So this is the largest version uh, of the Ultimate Gaming Table. So it's a 6x4, you definitely need two people to put it together because the... It helps dramatically. It helps dramatically. We found that the underpinnings, the structural support, so that you put together first before you start doing the rest of the frame. It took a lot of time and you needed two individuals to kind of move things around and get it get it lined up correctly and then also doing the screwing in. So and that and was the under, big thing. when we were doing the under part, it felt like it was taking us forever. Yeah. It felt like we weren't going anywhere. We were about to give up that night. So to give up. <laughs> and Alex said, let's keep going. And all of a sudden, it just started fitting together a lot quicker all of a sudden mm. once the underbelly was done for the table. Mm. Yeah. Um, Saying, just sort of sticking on to the packaging parts, um, it did, the package did come battered and bruised. Um, the box, the cardboard box on the outside had dents in it, um, rips and things like that, so you kind of you become a little bit concerned, and I was a little bit concerned as well, so actually, uh, when mine came home, I opened up a couple of boxes, just to check because obviously it's going to take me six months before I actually start putting mine together uh, and I actually noticed that the packaging inside was pretty good. The packaging inside yeah. was good except and also why did you check your packaging after you put my one together? Why? Oh well we'll talk about that later probably in the negative portion about this so we'll, we'll, we'll jump onto the yes. box <laughs> uh, later on with regards to that but yeah in saying that look yeah it came battered and bruised obviously it's actually traveled for a, 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 a long, long time a long way to actually get to us uh, but inside it was protected well enough there was quite a lot of um, padding uh, to protect the most important bits however I think you did experience some scratches or some... I've uh, got a bit of a scratch on the table. What I mean scratch, it actually went through the layer of paint and you can actually see the tins underneath. And it's, yeah. yeah, it's a bit... Like, we've turned the table around so you can actually, can't actually see it physically, but you know it's there. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a bit of a downer because it was somewhere like you had a board of locally, you could have seen, okay, I need that fixed or yeah. so maybe a little bit. So how long did it take us to put it all together? Three hours. <laughs> that was easy to say, that number. No. It was more than that, wasn't it? Three, three, three and a half. Pretty sure it was more than that. I think I came over uh, mid afternoon, late afternoon. Uh, that's six. Oh, look, you were much better than I was. I thought we'd put this together an hour and we could play a game, a board <laughs> yeah. game. I said, you bring your arm along, you bring your yeah. board game. And, and this guy puts IKEA furniture together, uh, And <laughs> yes, it was about three and a half, four hours. You left about 10. Something like 10, that. 30. Something like that. And I think there were still some few pieces, but you could actually handle them by yourself. Yeah, I did. Like later on, we discussed, we, we got the cup holders and I got two of the pads, writing pads, and I put them together myself. That was no big deal. Mm. Um, but what about the material quality? So, with regards to material quality, so um, what did you purchase? You purchased a black uh, covered black table, table with a red. Velvet hat, mm -hmm. and I also got six of these cup holders, which are quite 
Three beers, gentlemen. Nifty. Beautiful. Look at that. And also, you can hold your dice. And as I said before, I've got two of these larger notepads. Um, and the reason I've got two of these was because this table is supposed to come with four top boards and those boards actually slide into the side of the table and then you could use those boards as actual storage to keep your army, sort of keep your pads. So I thought, okay, if I'm playing with six people, two people won't have. Mm -hmm. So I've got these. Um, but I'll take you had a better idea, just go to Bunnings and buy those small little uh, table, trestle tables. And you can put them on the table and pack them away when you're not using so I think we'd go ahead with that as well. Yeah. And the reason for that being is, I'll probably just touch on this right now, is that um, we've got the countertop height uh, right. table. So what that is, is uh, it's uh, much higher, so you can actually stand while you're playing, and we prefer to do that. And as we've become older, what we've discovered in our last few years is that playing for two, three hours uh, on the tables that we have had, um, uh, after a while we start to experience some bad way uh, and we start complaining about the fact you know, we want to sit down while we're playing uh, when you really can't, you really shouldn't stand I up and that. moving the models around so that's, that becomes a problem. So yeah, and we like going to the pubs etc so we used to you know, standing at countertops well, um, I see my high chairs. Well, if you play in the old style table down for your war diary, <laughs> for your tournament you're setting up to go to mm -hmm, in mm -hmm. Cancun yes. in 2019 which yeah. is only from this video taping uh, three months away, three months away, mm -hmm. to practice your back mechanic, to <laughs> see how go to the gym, that's not gonna happen, or learn how to bring your own cushion and sit down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we've got the countertop height um, table, which. Um, from my personal experience, I'm really enjoying it. It's, it's, it's enjoyable to, you know, obviously we stand, you, as a player you'll be standing most of the time, so it's quite enjoyable to be standing and you just kind of lean over the lip. Yeah, you don't edge. actually notice too much, you don't actually feel sore when no. you're playing when you're standing. No. Maybe at the end of the game you start feeling it, but not no. while you're playing, and not the whole much. time you're moving around. The only thing that uh, is going to playing on this table is that if you've got a, a miniature in the middle, it's a bit harder to, a little bit harder, you got to actually move around the table more so, than if it was lower the table. Yeah, yeah because this is a six by That's four. Right. Um, so it's a true six by four inside Side. the playing area, but you have uh, all around the, uh, the side, you've got six these inch. Big six inch lips hang hanging out. Um, so obviously that creates more width. Um, when, when you're playing, so most of the other tables that we used to play on didn't actually have that. You know, so as you're standing on the edge of the table, you're right on the edge um, of your playing area. In, in saying that's one of the benefits is you're not going to be knocking over your models. Uh, sometimes our experience has been you know, you're, you're standing on the edge, you're leaning over, your shirt's brushing up against those models that are actually on the edge of the terrain, and, and lo and behold, um, uh, it pulls on it and those models fall over. And if you're unlucky enough to be playing over concrete or something like that, crap, it breaks. Um, so, from that perspective, that's not going to happen. Dice. Dice should not be falling off this table because you're rolling inside uh, the area. You should so have a rule if it falls off the table, it doesn't count. <laughs> it's if you can't even hit a table rule. this new big, rule. Yeah, new then rule. that's here it, you can't even count it. Yeah, here we go, we've created a new rule. Um, if, that, if you roll a dice on inside this table and that dice actually falls out, that dice that's the not, does not count. That's yeah, the gods. It just does not that's count. Inch, because, inch, you should, count. <laughs> because you should be, you shouldn't really be um, uh, having your dice falling outside the Plus, table. Plus, we actually put the deep uh, lip to this table because this table can go into two. Yes, it can modify. That, that is true. Yes, you can actually modify the table so you can actually have two sizes uh, in terms of your depth inside. So we went for the deeper, the deepest, uh, which deepest is, mode. Which the only problem you might have being deeper is if you're trying to get true line of sight and you're trying to put your eye to it because your eye can't go lower on the table. True. But I mean we don't play that hardcore so it's okay. Nah, um, <laughs> the other thing is once you decide on your depth it's not something you can change. Like you, you can spend your time to you know lift it up and lift it down between games but really the amount of effort required it's just not worth it. I mean They've got this table that, really. that you can join this table to another table. I don't see how you could do that in a reasonable length of time because it's not a take one piece and bolt it together it seems. It's a lot of work. Yeah. So once you set your table in the way you want it, 
you're not going to change it. True. You're not True. Change yeah. it. It's not like there's some type of clip at the end of it where no. you can just basically unclip and it comes out yeah. uh, and then you're joining. And they advertised the that like, you could put like two, like I was thinking at the time to get two, uh, two by four tables and get two of them and put two of them together to make a four by eight. Mm -hmm. Um, and I didn't go that way only because I started doing the measurements in this room and I thought, how, how are you going to hit the middle? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes. Yeah, and that's, at some point we may, for shits and giggles, uh, put our tables together. That's probably going to take some time down the track when we, we're on holidays and we have to have a table over. I've got to my table over. <laughs> <laughs> that's that. a good point, actually. I didn't think about that. This it's is not, not little. It's yeah. good. Honestly, did not think about that. This and that's table point. Yes, is it's solid. Yeah, it but is. let's just say one thing: it is really solid. We're mm -hmm. not small people. Yep. We can lean on it. It doesn't doesn't yep. even touch it. Doesn't I'm, even affect yep. us. I'm 186 centimeters tall, 112 kilos. I'm putting my weight on this table, yep. uh, and it's taking it. And uh, this bloke next to me as well, he's a little bit lighter. Um, uh, is yes. The same. <laughs> and uh, yes, this table is taking. It is. You're right. It is solid. So, very good point. Who's going to be bringing the table over if we can actually join out? I don't think that's going to be happening actually. So The um, other little issue which we we'll have to show later on the video is this table has power points on either side. Mm -hmm. The only problem of those power points... And USB ports as and well. And USB, yes. Which is good. Good stuff. And that's a great idea. Don't yeah. get me wrong. Yeah. But the power points, even though they're Australian connections, uh -huh. they don't have an on and off switch. Mm -hmm. Yes, you pointed this out. Which yeah. I don't know is legal in Australia or not. We haven't looked into that yet, but that is that is a good point because they don't have an on off So once you board. plug it on, it's on. Mm. So that was a, something that it's not gonna look it's not gonna break is you know having table, not having table. And they are selling this table outside of Kickstarter. Yeah. I was going to ask that actually because obviously all these Kickstarter um, tables have come through, yeah. pe uh, people have received them, obviously in the US it started first, so everyone in the US that was lucky enough to receive yeah. them got them before we did. From my understanding, I think you were telling me that in Australia there was about 28, 30 purchases, is that right? Some, well, the, and one in Wellington apparently. And one in Wellington, which is in New Zealand for you guys that might not and, know where that is. And they're not doing the black anymore, they're not doing the, you got to Beach. I've got a birch. Birch. Yes. They're not doing that, just the walnut apparently to catch up on their back back end. And mm -hmm. with these tables also, they had they were selling on the Kickstarter uh, adaptions you can put for um, and they're doing a actually they did a they're doing a games workshop table as well. Yes, they are. They are they're doing with the games work symbols. Mm -hmm. So you can actually attach them on and off because this table we just went for bland, just you know, on true, the side, true. You know, yes. Yeah, so yes. We'll, we'll, let's touch up uh, upon those components uh, elements. So we didn't actually get all the components that are available that are available through Kickstarter. So you can actually um, uh, aesthetically yes. improve the look of your table with uh, these nice designs that come down the legs. They're Cthulhu designs. Cthulhu designs. Um, uh, there were others there, I can't remember. There's but a dragon, the lock There you go, there you go. Better memory than me. Uh, <laughs> And recently, or a little while back, uh, they made an announcement with regards to doing Games Workshop yes. style table. So there's an Age of Sigma style, yes. uh, and also a uh, Warhammer 40k style as well, um, with the maps inside. So the maps inside actually have a uh, Warhammer and Age of Sigma pattern to them, uh, but also on the sides of the legs, etc., you can actually um, uh, put these panels on that actually give it a, that that feel which is which is great. This comes with a map inside it does. Well. Yes. I chose the red map as you can mm -hmm. see. It, uh, another thing you'll see in the video later, inside is actually bigger than 6x4. Because we did yes. put a 40, we did put one of those gamer AU mats, and that's what we played with, and I've got a frontline gaming map. And there is a lip amongst oh, around, around, there is a lip around the whole map. Mm -hmm. So in one way it's good because you know your model leaves. Yeah. 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 So, you know yeah. your you know your model leaves the table so you can't say just touch the edge. <laughs> True. Um, but yeah, so it's slightly bigger inside by six by four and you can actually put two or three mats on top of each other and this is not gonna make a difference with the big lip mm. that you've got. Mm. Um, that's not gonna pick it right now. <laughs> no. So um, let's look at, we talked about the positives, we talked about the experience here, um, hopefully we've covered most of the things for you. 
There are some negatives. There, there are some are a few negatives. A few. And what uh, would say the game killer negatives? Yeah. I'm going to say they could be improvements, and maybe because I chose a black, which makes, like, for example, you could see the screws because I've done a deeper uh, counter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can see the silver screws rather than covering them up with black. So aesthetically, in saying that, also with regards to the silver screws around the edges, there are caps that they have provided to to us. Um, but they actually put in there, but they don't work properly. Don't and work. The, the reason being is that they well, they don't fit in. <laughs> <laughs> There's other ways to do that. And I don't, I don't, know, I don't, don't know which way to think about it, but it's you know like that. So. So the the screws themselves, the holes on the screws are, are bigger than the actual um, uh, uh, cap bit. Yep. Uh, so when you put the cap in, it should fit snugly and uh, not fall out. But you put it in, it just comes straight out, just right. pops straight out. So it's very loose. Um, so that's a problem, and that's an experience that Mitchell's had here. So especially as you said, with your black table. It's visible. It's it's very much more visible than probably with a, a birch or a, a lighter colour that yes, you might have. So, and also, obviously, I think I'm probably going to have that experience as well. But um, the, the crash test dummy that Mitchell was with his table, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I learned a lot. But I was excited. Yeah. I was excited when I yeah. got that in. Yeah. So there's so there's that part. Obviously, Mitchell, talk, you talked about the uh, scratch that you got. I've so got the scratch the, there, uh, and I have a bubble. The there's a little bubble somewhere else which is also, okay, not end of the world. Um, the other thing I'm not too sure about, and only time will tell, is this table has inserts. And I don't know if you can see here. And that's how it slips into the actual edging of the table mm -hmm. to hold its place. Yes. And then you put a little cap at the end, and that holds it in its location so it won't slip out. I don't know in the long run, if this will scratch the table, the table itself. We talked about this, yes. Yeah, yeah. Like in the long yeah. run, maybe in a year's time, nine months time, because yeah. you're using this, will yes. it eventually scratch it or not? And that's yes. Yes. only because, time. Yeah, as you said, because these things slide out, so you can actually move them around the table wherever you are, um, however many players you have. So it's, it doesn't, the table doesn't have to be just for two players. You can have uh, more uh, players here. You can do role playing, etc., and things like that. It doesn't have to be just a miniature game. So these things will move around as you, know, you have people coming and playing. So as it slides in, that constant friction over yes. time, as you said, there may be a potential that it could actually start to, uh, scratching the surface. Uh, and you might actually see that. So it would have been nice if it was probably a little bit more wider and they had some padding in there. Um, so if you have the padding in there, it protects both, well, yeah. it protects your main surface. Probably not worried about this part underneath because then you don't see that. No. Um, but if you're sliding it in and out constantly, because you've got you're going to this, have little kit, this little uh, clamp basically, mm -hmm. which was slots in, so, so it like actually holds it. Yeah, it's like the stop sliding out. Yes, yeah. Um, so that's one thing that we'll have to see in the long run how that actually works. I mean, it does work. Um, as I said, for an investment of this magnitude, it's actually quite, quite high, quite a bit of risk. Well, it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't. It was. Risk, of course. I mean, this, this was a lot of money that yeah. you're really giving out to someone, True. and you say, "Can you please make this for yeah. me?" I hope you will. Mm. Um, and I'm giving you. You said a year, and I waited 18 months. Yeah. And, and the other problem so much money is that, that I've got it. is I never received the top boards for this table. This is probably the biggest negative. And this, and this is an experience that's personal to Mitch. Because that's you. why you ran to your place to check your table. That night, that very night. To check <laughs> to see if you were missing them and you weren't. So I was so, either lucky or unlucky you in Australia mm -hmm. that at this time have not got my top, which they have acknowledged to be fair. But at the same token, this I've had this table now for one month. Yeah. yeah. So in a month, there's still no ETA on when I'll be getting the top part of my table. Mm. And when we're talking about the tabletops, is what what you can actually do with this table, which is really wonderful. Yeah, that's the that's, that's why we we bought it. Is that um, you can put tabletops across the table, which converts the table yeah. into a normal basic dining table if yeah. you want it to be um, so you can actually have that you don't need to have this in your games room you can actually have it in your dining room if you want um, so you can convert to a, a proper dining table or a, a, 
Um, a table if you want the role play on, so you can actually have, just have that flat surface, so it protects the inner part. Um, if you have some other game that's going on under, uh, underneath, or you can actually have the role you're playing game and you go, surprise, and you lift up and they see yeah. a massive battle ready yeah. to rock and roll. Yeah, so you can have everything prepared. There goes my Yeah, we'll know what's happening there <laughs> if you start doing that to us. Um, so that's that's a, that's a beautiful feature about this table. Unfortunately, we're not able to show that to you because, uh, as Mitchell mentioned, you didn't receive that Good box, box, and I did. So I do know it's yes. it's there. I did offer to Mitchell for me to actually bring it over so he can actually use it, but he thought, nah, yours is birch. It's an ugly colour. He doesn't like it. Um, well, uh, not at this okay, stage. Okay. Not at this yeah. stage. So. Uh, so at this stage, it's just an open tabletop that we have. So that's probably a really big, big negative, but it's an experience negative rather than the actual product itself. Look, at this stage, they've acknowledged it. They know that's missing. So I can't go further than that. At least it's going to be resolved. It should be resolved. Mm -hmm. Hopefully this year. Uh, that'd be nice. Uh, but at, having this table compared to the old table I used to have, oh, okay. which wasn't flat, Mm, yes. <laughs> we roll the dice and it just keep rolling a little bit longer. Um, and that table I got from a gum tree in Australia, like an eBay, but for twenty dollars I think. Mm -hmm. I had to pick it up from some guy's house, and it was big. It was it was one piece, which um, I gave to someone else. That's what we do: recycle it to someone else. Mm -hmm. um, it's a big step up, a massive step up, and I'm quite happy with the powerpoints. Mm -hmm. And the USB, because okay. I've used them. You've tested it? I've tested okay. them. So it works fine? It works fine. Right. It's great. It's, yeah. it's great. Yeah. And and I'm not sure if you mentioned they're on either of the long ends, aren't they? So you right. have one on this end and you have one on yeah. the other end as well. Yeah. So, yeah. So, and I've put, really great. I've put a cable on the knee if I join the two together, so they've only got one cable coming to the table. That's right. Um, so at least you've got this stuff underneath the table. And the good thing about the table this high as well, the countertop, is you can put stuff underneath the table. Uh, we haven't, but you can put things underneath the table you're playing a game when you bring your terrain, you can put it underneath the table and just store it there as, out yes. of the way. And this is what we talked about earlier on is because we've got the countertop height, we've got a lot of gap underneath. Um, so you can actually have a fold out table, etc., or, or a trestle table, um, they can just kind of slide underneath and then bring it out. So you can put your models on there that yeah. are not being used on the table itself. So. Um, from a practical point it of view, it gives you more space. Yeah, it gives you more space, which is which is really good. So, uh, how does it play on? I think we touched upon that a little bit. We had that one game that we did. So which I won, but it wasn't really, you know, like made it better. Obviously, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> but your inaugural win. My I gave that to you. No, no. Well, that's fair enough. <laughs> um, but play wise, I think it's just easier. It's just easier when you put your models on the table and you've got a lip here mm -hmm. and you can put stuff on the table that you need and you're not cramped. You're not, you know, you feel like you've got a lot more room um, because you've got the lip around the table, you've got the little uh, table that's we put on the side. Mm -hmm. um, so you've got more room when you play, the, look at the table and play there. Mm -hmm. And look, you know, it's like your models. You know, you play, you paint your models to look nice because it doesn't make them fire better, it doesn't make them roll more sixes or more ones, it just makes you feel better mm -hmm. that you're playing on something that's nice, nice terrain. It might not be 40k, it could be a different game system and you'll see they've got some great terrain, you go, wow, look at that, I like to play that. Yeah. And that's the yeah. same thing. Yeah, it's it's a big kid's dreams. It is. Fulfilled it because is. we've played for 25 it years is. now, we're probably coming to three decades, but we've actually played together, we have a very healthy rivalry, so we're good mates. We, we put uh, this together and we're still friends. <laughs> yeah, we're still friends, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, and, I, and I was back, I was 12 years old again, working with my father always. <laughs> Pass me the X5B <laughs> screwdriver, yeah, yeah. because that was another thing when you put this together, Art, five, the, eight, manual, six, the manual, the manual, and what was required did not match. In the sense, it didn't say, you know, it said like box one for one part, and as you still, and it connects to something to box two. And so you had to have everything, as I said, to play before. Yeah. In its right location, you can't mix or match, mm. and it was like putting IKEA furniture together. Yeah. Do not take a shortcut. Do not think I can add this here and I'll save myself time to do it. <laughs> Don't. Just follow the instructions exactly because otherwise you will get lost. 
And some of the nuts and bolts, they're not really well defined on their sizes, so you can actually count them because one has eight and one has 12, so at least you know which is which. Because and I was... That brings to the next point with regards four to... Four screws <laughs> short. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so that's probably another negative part and probably, yeah, uh, even bigger than an experience point because there's components that you don't have. We discovered by the... Uh, this was at the late stage, right, this at, the the, end. right at the end. We were four screws short. And, and I used the extras as well they gave us. I think they gave us two extras or something like yes, that. And yeah. I used them both. Yeah, so that's that was really an unfortunate um, uh, event for us because we looked all over the place. We double checked everything, triple, full, quadruple checked, however many times, looked all over the oh. room. We were certain that we didn't drop them somewhere or, or misplace these. Even look at some of these other screws that we put to make sure. Yeah, just to, to make sure, yeah, that's probably spent a good half hour just to make sure and basically came to a conclusion. We were short. And that's 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 for me personally, uh, that's something that I dread when I put my table together, um, is uh, discovering that I'm going to be short uh, with regards to the screws. I'd rather that, well, I'd rather not that, um, than a missing uh, table top because that will just replace the oh, they'll, 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 they'll just send it. If you can find the same ones, yeah, that's probably the, the but it's just a convenience factor of it, yeah. You expect things to be, be there for you. So that's probably another uh, negative aspect to it. Overall. Overall, I'm still happy. That's good. I'm still happy because, you know, <laughs> it looks good. It and looks good. Like I said, it's your kid's dream come, come and, true. And, so. and it's nowhere near as expensive as some of the other tables we saw on, um, uh, there's a few other tables in the US we've seen in the past. Uh, with neon lights. Oh yes, yeah. With all these little yeah, extra bits and pieces it, that you can get. Yes. It has yeah. doesn't have that, but as a table to play, and just to set up, and as as we've got the boards, if you want to put this in your dining room, or you've got a like you don't have the space, like we've got a room here for it. But if you don't actually have the room, um, yeah, you can put it there. But it's not a table that you put in your garage and think I'll oh, fold it and leave it in the corner <laughs> because it happen. is heavy. Mm. It is heavy. Super duper. Heavy. It is heavy. Yeah. It is really solidly built. Yeah. There's no, there's no doubt about that. Yeah. That's, that's there's no doubt. So, but it's, it's, it's a table that you're going to put it somewhere, and be it your dining table at home, and you cover it up, and then you can use it. But it's not going to be something that, oh, okay, then uh, no one's here. I'm going to take the legs off it, fold it up, put it in the corner, and then drive my car in the garage. Or this is a permanent solution. Yes, this is a permanent solution for you. Uh, Going on that element as well is that, uh, as I said before, we've got the 6x4, but there's different sizes. There's a 3x4, there's obviously two count, by four. 2x4, I think, and there's a coffee, like coffee table style, so you can actually get a coffee table style. With little, little legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they've made uh, tables to suit uh, individual needs yeah. and, and desires as well. So you might not be a gamer like we are, with or 40K, or 40K or, 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 K or type, other type of models, model gaming. Um, you might be just a card player, yeah. so just play cards, or you just might play, uh, do role playing games. And as Mitchell mentioned, you can actually just have that big reveal where you have this big yeah. area, or you can actually have a lift dungeon smaller. underneath. You can have yeah. lift smaller yeah, if you, you can move things, move things around, which is really great as well. Okay, so let's give it a rating, Mitch. What would you rate this table as? I'd rate it eight and a half out of ten. And I would actually rate it maybe nine, nine and a half, if I had all my pieces in here. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't give it a ten, only because, you know, you it's perfection. perfection. Um, and I don't not really know what I'm comparing this with, because I haven't been able to wear in Australia, we haven't had enough to have a look at, or anything like that. But I'm, I'm more than happy, more than pleased with this table. Yeah, yeah, I, I kind of echo those sentiments as well. I, I was going to give it an eight. Eight and a half. Eight and a half is probably where I would go. Yeah. Uh, like you, I wouldn't want to give it a ten because that's that's really perfection. I would give it a nine, nine and a half if the whole experience was beautiful and perfect. So as in, you got all your parts, you got all your pieces, nothing was scratched. Is there a um, mirror here? <laughs> yeah. No. Is there an echo? Is there a what I just said? Yeah, I know, I know. So as I said, I'm echoing those sentiments. See how tower plays are? Unoriginal. Oh, come on. What, 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 what trick ponies? You have to go off a tower again. Why does everyone hate the tower? Really, guys? Come on. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully, it's been informative enough for you and we've given you uh, plenty of information with regards to this table. Of course, you jealousy amongst yourselves. Okay, that's a bit harsh. 
If you have any questions for us, feel free to write down in the comment section and we'll get back to you. Uh, if you have any experiences of yours, uh, if you have experiences yourselves with this table, uh, let us know uh, about it. Hopefully you've liked this video that we've produced for you. Hit the like button if you like it. And also subscribe, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to activate the bell icon, that's quite important because if you do that, our future videos, you'll get a notification about it and you'll Does see it more of us. Does it ring? No, it doesn't. Yeah, it should be nice. It will okay. get you a pick a tune for it. You know, it does. Does. We'll put that in the YouTube <laughs> suggestion box. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Alright, so hopefully we'll see you next time, and before then... There'll be another battle report. There will be another battle report. We'll be doing some more battle reports. For uh, your diary? Yes, for my diary. Yeah, yeah for my new diary. That's, that's going to be uh, a lot of fun. Oh look, I've got myself a new beer. Yeah. Awesome. And guys, keep this in mind. You don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. You pinched that life from that new tag. <laughs> <laughs>